Hey friends, welcome to a review with the Demon, and welcome to my very last review of 2023. Today I'm reviewing the finest Doppelbach from Pipe Horse Brewing. It is a Doppelbach style lager, and it clocks in at 7.4% alcohol by volume. Now, if you're not aware of Pipe Horse Brewing, they're out of Chicago, Illinois. They do a lot of hoppy style ales, and they have a really good lager program. So I've had my eye on this one for a few years now, and I finally pulled the trigger two weeks ago. What really caught my eye about this is the artwork. I absolutely love the artwork. There's two goats sitting at a bar, and I love the title too. It's kind of arrogant. The finest Doppelbach. That's awesome. So right now, Czech style dark lagers are still out in the beer market, but that's going to transition to Doppelbach style lagers. So typically, you see Doppelbach style lagers from winter time to early spring. That's usually the time frame where you'll see them out. And if you're not aware of what a Doppelbach style lager is. It's basically a double Bach beer and it's a high alcohol lager. This one's about 7.4% and some Doppelbachs go up to 8%. So yeah, that's the history lesson of what a Doppelbach is. And it is from Germany. The style was created in Germany. All right. I don't know what kind of malts or hops are in here. I mean, with Doppelbox, it's more about the malt than hops, but pipers do tend to over hop things sometimes, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But Let's get into it. Let's try it out. All right. Let's open the can. All right. Well, it's got a nice brown. It's got a nice brown color. It's almost, almost, that's a really fluffy head too. It almost kind of has a little bit of like a red tint to this, to the brown beer. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's actually really pretty. Prettier than I thought it was going to be. All right. Let's get a whiff of the nose. So it's funny, I said it kind of has like a red color and I do get like a little bit of like cherry off the nose right away. Let me see what else I'm getting. A little bit of like graininess in there. A little bit of like oak. So I'm getting cherry, oak, graininess. A little bit of caramel in there too. I'm definitely getting a little bit of caramel in there. Um, Yeah, wow. Smells really good. Caramel, grain, cherry, oak. Definitely getting some raisins. The the dark fruit on this nose is really um it's really strong. It's really strong and it's like in your face. That's what I'm getting the most from the nose. The, those dark fruits from this finest Doppelbach. All right, let me smell one more time before we take it down the hatch. Almost, there's almost something about this where I'm getting like a cola smell. That's the last thing I'm getting from it. All right, guys, let's uh, take it down the hatch. The finest Doppelbach. Salute. Okay, so right away, it is sweet. Doppelbachs do tend to be a little bit sweeter, but that's like the beginning the ending of it is definitely a little bit bitter. So the ending like smooths out the beginning and it, and it kind of balances the beer a little bit. All right. Now that I told you what the overall, how it's flowing on your palate, let's get into the notes. Salute. Yeah. So it's very similar to the nose. I'm getting those dark fruits. I'm getting the raisins. I'm getting a little bit of cherry. I'm getting a lot of caramel, more caramel in the flavor than I was getting on the nose. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little bit of like that oak character. The thing I like about this beer so far is it is really well balanced. Like, it's sweet, but just when you think it's going to be too sweet, it does kind of pull it back a little bit and give you like a little bit of like a bittering finish. And for me, that's what like saves this beer for me. And that's what makes this beer really good. All right, let's, um, let's take it on the hatch one more time. Okay, so I'm getting almost like a raisin bread vibe for me because there is like a breadiness. So you have like the breadiness mixed in with the raisins. Dude, this is good. I, I definitely like it. It's really good. 
it's really good. Let me take it on the hatch one more time before we close this video out so I could try to figure out what I'm going to give the find a stop a lock. Salute. This is a great bear. I like this beer. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to give it on a scale from one to five. I would probably give this like a 4.25. I think that's a fair score. Um, is this a logger I'm going to reach for all the time? No. But is this a good logger to have when it's really cold outside and you just want to snuggle up in your bed and watch Netflix? This is the kind of logger that you honestly want to drink. A, a Doppelbach that's going to keep you warm, that's going to be boozy. I mean, something like this is good. And if you're in the Chicago area, honestly, this is like a pretty good, this is a pretty good variant. Like it's definitely worth trying and picking up, even though it might not be a logger I'm going to crush all the time. But yeah, final score, 4.25. Before we end the video, 2023 is ending. I just want to say for everyone that watches my content and that supports all my uh, social media channels, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And let's keep the train rolling as we go into 2024. If there are any styles you ever, people want to see me review, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. I review a lot of IPAs and a lot of loggers because those styles are my favorite. And it, it, it's honestly easy on my stomach too. But yeah, always open to try new things. So uh, drop me a comment and let me know what you think, guys. Thank you for supporting the channel. And thank you for supporting the Hop Demon. Happy New Year and salute.